Joanna, today I would like to show you a nail look that I have come up with. Um, hopefully you can see that. This is what it looks like. It is um, one of my nail plates and some sponging and some gold glitter polish. And I would like to show you how I came up with this. Um, and I want to apologize. I kind of don't feel good. I've had a bad cold from work, so I kind of sound funny too. So I'll get right to it. I'm going to put this down here. Let's see. Okay. One of the polishes featured in the look that I'm going to show you is this polish that was sent to me by Miss L Sugar 49. This is the second look that I have come up with um, using this polish. And again, this is what I would like to show you. I will be using some Conad polishes and a couple of regular nail polishes and a sponge like this, which I have cut up in pieces. And since, um, or to save time, what I have used as a base coat is this Salon Complete Care Polish and this gold polish um, from L'Oreal called Because You're Worth It. And that is what is on my nails right here. This right here is the gold polish, and I'm going to show you how I do this look right here before the stamping. So I will begin. The first color I will be using is a Maybelline Color Show Polish. And this color is called Avant Green. It's a very light color. Um, I had put on three coats of it out of curiosity. And it was still very, very light. So when I get done with this little portion here, I will show you that polish. It looks a lot deeper in the bottle than it actually is. And this is the one color that I had to take this step with here several times. So we're just going to sponge some of that on there like that. And this is that polish. It's a pretty color, but it's not as dark as it appears in the bottle. Okay. The next thing that we are going to do is I'm going to take my next color, which will be the orange Conad stamping polish. And you can take this and you can stamp your nail anywhere. This is what I like about gold and silver polishes. You can stamp other or sponge other colors on top of them. And it gives it kind of a different effect. So I would recommend that if you have any color polish on, any color at all, before you take it off, you could like sponge a couple of other colors on top of it um, just to see what kind of an effect that you get. Now the next color that I'm going to take is going to be a red Conad polish. I don't know if you can see this. I just put a little bit on the sponge and I just dab an area, which some of these come out a little bit darker than others. So since that red um, is really so intense. I'm going to add a little bit more of this orange here. And these, you've seen these before, are my Conad colors that I use. Sponge that. So, so far, this is what I have. And then we're going to sponge two more colors. It's going to be a brown, and then I'm going to put that yellow on. This brown one shows up really good. So I'm going to put the brown down in here. And then we're going to take that corner there. And I'm going to try to put some yellow in the center. And you can put these colors anywhere you want. Like I didn't put the yellow in the center of all nails. I just put some colors down and wherever something went, that's where it went. And sponge that right in the middle there and I'm going to do just a little bit more make it a little bit more intense so that is the look that I have so while that dries I'm going to show you how this comes together with the stamping I'm going to be using this bundle monster BM 315 plate and I'm going to be going for this paisley design right here and I've already cleaned that and my stamper and my scraper off with the acetone, or acetone. And I'm going to be using this black gold Conad polish that I like so much. 
And I'm going to try to adjust this just a little bit. Okay. Put this right here. And I'm going to turn this paisley print this way. And sometimes I find, too, when I sponge colors on, because they're a thin sponging, they dry just a little bit quicker. So we're going to scrape that off there. This is the stamp, and I'm going to start with this finger right here. Because I know that that one is dry. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. And then... I'm going to clean that up. And I'm going to re-stamp the first finger that I put the polishes on. And then I'm going to show you the rest of what I did to this look to kind of bring it together. Okay. Okay. That's what we have right there. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take a Q-tip and try to kind of clean this polish off these edges right here. This is the part that I always say I'm not very good at because I don't want to get too close to my design. Usually, once I've washed my hands a couple of times, any excess comes off of there anyway. So, there's two final steps to this look. The very next thing that I do is I use this Golden Enchantment. And I like this one over certain looks because it has a gold tinge to it. And this is also one of the polishes I'll use in my Leopard look. But as I said before, I use the Fairy Dust quite a bit. But I think these two polishes sometimes, they bring a look together. And they don't smear whatever Conad design that I am trying to come up with. So I'm going to show you this here. So, and this right here is the look that we get. And I don't know sometimes where I get these fuzzies from. There you go. And the very last thing that I do to this look is while it's still a little bit damp, is I apply a coat of Seshvit over the top of the whole thing. And that helps it dry better and quicker. I tried using that out the door, and I have to use that with, like, just my regular polish because it fades my Conan design. So this right here is the finished look using those colors. And I like this because it's like a fall background, but it adds a little character to the stamping. And I have just learned um, about sponging here on YouTube. So, and this again is the finished look. I don't know if you can see that any better. I don't have special lighting or anything. I'm just sitting at my little dinette table here. But hopefully you can see that and you like that. And again, Miss um, Pumpkin, if you see this, I want to thank you. I am also working on another look featuring this polish. I really, really love this. I'm also going to wear it by itself again. But everyone have a great day, and until the next time.